Okay, so what happens if the home that you're buying does not appraise? So the contract on the property that you bought has a clause in it that it, your mortgage is subject to the property appraising for the agreed upon purchase price or more. So the bank is only going to lend you based on what the appraised value of the property is. So if let's say you agreed to buy the property for 375,000 and the appraisal only came back at 360,000, what do we do? So the first thing we can do is we can challenge the appraisal. We're gonna look at the appraisal first and say, okay, was this a good appraisal? Did he use correct comps? You know, did they use properties outside of the area? Did, you know, things like that. Make sure it was a really good appraisal. A lot of times appraisers, you know, everyone's human, they make mistakes. So they may have, you know, improperly calculated the square footage, or they may have said there's no pool when there was a pool, something like that. So we're gonna challenge it and say, hey, you missed this. Give our reasoning behind why we think the value should be where it is. The next thing we can do if the, the appraiser doesn't want to change their mind, if it's a good appraisal, we could order a new appraisal. Now that's going to be more money out of your pocket as the buyer, but if it's just a bad appraisal and the guy won't change his mind for whatever reason, you can order a new appraisal typically. This does depend on the type of loan that you're getting. If you're getting FHA financing, unfortunately, the appraisal that's on the property sticks for 120 days. So if you're getting FHA financing, we cannot order a new appraisal, but for uh, conventional financing, you can. So what else can we do? Well, if you agreed on 375 and the appraisal came in at 360, you as the buyer have the right to pay above the appraised value. So you could say, I don't care. I love this house. I don't care that I'm paying more than what it's probably worth right now. You have that right to do that. And you have to pay at that money out of pocket. So if you say, I'll pay 375 and it appraised at 360, you have to pay $15,000 out of your pocket. A lot of times what ends up happening is that we just renegotiate and we meet somewhere in the middle. So the appraisal came in at 360, you're agreed at 375, maybe you agree to pay 365 and the seller will sell for that price. So you would come out of pocket only $5,000 and the seller would come down the other 10. It's all kind of a renegotiation, but we're gonna fight as best as we can to get the seller to come down to the appraised value because that's an independent third party's person's opinion of the fair market value. And we don't think as your agents that you should have to pay more than fair market value. So at a worst case scenario, if the seller refuses to come down from the price you agreed to and you refuse to move up from the appraised value and we can't renegotiate something that's fair for everyone, well then unfortunately the deal is gonna blow up and you're gonna lose the money that you paid for the inspection, which is typically four to $600 and the appraisal is probably another $400. So you're gonna be out of money, uh, out of pocket some money. So that's why it's really important when we're writing offers to make sure what we're agreeing to is within the fair market value. The seller could ask for any amount of money for their house, doesn't mean you should pay it. You gotta make sure that the property is going to appraise, otherwise you're just potentially burning money and we don't wanna see that as your agents. So that's it for appraisals. If you have any questions on how that works, feel free to let us know, leave a comment down below. And as always, stay tuned for the next video.